Yo, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the four best workshop maps that will rank you up to SSL. These are my personal favorites and the four which I have used to reach SSL myself. If you train these, you won't need to dry scoop G fuel like an animal before you play. Ah, uh, who gets about any of this shit? Just give me some G fuel. The first workshop map to make the top four is Aim Training by Kogo. This is almost like a versatile custom training pack, but focuses completely on basic shots and improving your precision. I'm a very big advocate for this map because I'm an all-time world record holder for the most amount of open goals missed in a singular game. And this map has made it so I don't miss them anymore. Death count! Death count! But for real guys, this map has three difficulties to choose from, which makes it a great map to practice on regardless of your rank. And I promise you that if you spend a good amount of time hitting long streaks without missing the target, when you get into a game, you'll only be flaming your teammates for missing those open nets. This map also has a streak tracker, so you can track your improvement as you play by aiming for a greater streak than the last. If you manage to get above 5 shots in a singular streak, then that is very impressive and you're more than ready to jump into your games. The second workshop map to make the cut is the Dribble Challenge 2 Overhaul. I'm not lying when I say this, I have at least hundreds of hours in this workshop map alone. This is the best way to get better at dribbling and that is not a statement to be taken lightly. There are 30 levels to beat and they increase in difficulty and length the further into the map you go, which makes it once again a very good map to play regardless of your rank. If you're struggling to dribble, it gives you a way to see your improvement. If you couldn't get past level 4 yesterday, well, two days later you're on level 10 and you know for a fact that you've improved. Not only does this map train dribbling, but once you get good you can start air dribbling and flicking to hit the goals earlier and make even faster times than your previous personal best. Seriously though guys, if you want to be remotely good at this game, this workshop map is a must have for any aspiring good player. I just can't emphasize enough how important this workshop map is and how much you'll see your dribbling improve once you've managed to complete all 30 levels. If you ain't feeling like messy after you're through with it, then something is genuinely wrong. The third workshop map to get a top 4 spot is Speed Jump Trials 1 by DMC. This is a bit of an old map, but still one of my personal favorites to this day. It's essentially a time trial obstacle course which will improve your aerial control your recovery and your overall speed. This map doesn't train anything specifically like the others do, but it's just one of those things that makes you feel and play better. It's a super fun map to run through, it only takes roughly around a few minutes to complete, but the gains you get from it are immeasurably greater. Essentially it's a small time investment for big gains, so there's really no excuse not to be playing it. Plus, it's a great substitute for the 15 coffees that you would normally drink before you play the game, and I promise you it's going to make you faster the more times you run through it. And if you're feeling adventurous, you can even go for a world record, which I've gone for a few times myself and gotten kind of close, so it's definitely doable. The last and final workshop map to reach the top 4 is Speed to Jump Rings 3 by DMC. This is like the dribbling challenge, but for aerial control. The concept is very simple, you just fly through rings which are constantly getting smaller and you do it as fast as you can. This map is especially good if you use air roll right or left, which you definitely should be using for pretty much everything when you go up for the ball in the air. And you can challenge yourself by flying through this whole map whilst only using one of those air rolls and it's literally going to make your aerial control and your adaptability to any situation in game 10 times better. No longer will you fly into the air and make awkward movements which make you slow as fuck. When you go for the ball, you're going to have purpose and speed if you train this map enough. You're going to be able to fly up backwards and do a triple 360 trick shot into the top corner. Okay. <gasps> oh! oh my god! Oh! And I shit you not, this is the best map for improving your aerial game hands down. Alright, that's it from me folks. Download those maps and get training if you want to see some big improvements. Also, do me a favour and hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Peace.